I don't know about you, but I'm an outfit planner. I just do not like the stress of not knowing what to wear. So I have to plan my outfits in advance. So I thought today I'd show you a few ways I plan my outfits and perhaps these are some ways that you plan yours too. Some people plan their outfits starting with a hero piece, something like a piece of jewellery or perhaps some shoes. I do do that, but more often than not, I start with the outerwear, the coat, and then I work backwards. For me, the outerwear isn't the afterthought, it is the starting piece because it has to go with everything. The weather and the occasion usually determine what coat I'm going to need, so with those two pieces of information, I'll plan from there. If I'm going somewhere where I need to look a bit smarter, I'll go for a more structured coat that looks good with a tailored pair of trousers and heels. This coat is from Ted Baker. It's a funnel neck wrap coat and it is actually navy. Now I do have this in grey, which I'm going to show you a little bit later on in the video. So because navy is so versatile, it's a great colour to wear to plan an outfit around. I could wear it with black. I could wear it with white, grey and tan, just with white, or just white and tan. There's lots of options, but I do like navy and burgundy. It's quickly becoming a favourite colour combo of mine. So for this outfit, as it's sort of a smartish occasion where jeans wouldn't be quite right, I'll wear navy trousers and heeled shoes. Now because I want to do the burgundy and navy combo, I'm going to wear all navy underneath so the bag really pops. This bag is also Ted Baker. It's actually listed as deep purple on the website, but it really doesn't look purple to me. It's definitely more a burgundy. So it goes lovely with this navy coat. It was £140, but I did see the other day it is actually reduced to £84 now as the Ted Baker sales already started. When I looked, the coat wasn't in the sale and I'm not actually sure if it's going to be, but I will link it below for you. I really like the shape and the colour of the bag. To me it just has a simplicity to it that is quite understated but it looks classy and I love the gold padlock on it which really elevates the design. The straps are adjustable so I can wear it across body as well as on my shoulder. And just like navy, burgundy is really quite versatile so this bag could be worn lots of different ways. Now I will be taking my coat off but planning what I'll be wearing underneath is pretty simple because I want the outfit to be just two colours, navy and burgundy. So the top has to be navy and it also needs to be warm. And I also want it to be relatively tight fitting so it feels really comfortable under the coat. So it's going to be a long sleeve navy sweater, probably a crew neck. I'll layer it with some really nice jewellery and a bracelet and watch probably so it's not boring when I take the coat off. Because it has a funnel neck, I wouldn't wear a scarf with the coat, but I could wear a roll neck underneath instead of the crew neck. So starting with the hero piece, and in my case, on this occasion, it was the navy coat, is a great way to plan an outfit. I like to just get up and go in the morning. So I usually plan my day-to-day -day outfits the night before. That way I can just put myself together nice and calmly and my day just seems to run much smoothly that way. I choose what I'm gonna wear, I lay it all out so it's all there ready for me. That way I can just get up, get dressed and off I go without any stress. This is a habit that I started back in school. I used to have to get up really early to get the train to get to school so I think part of the reason I used to get my uniform ready the night before was to give me a little bit more extra time in bed but I think that's probably how it started but then I realised that I do actually like to be organised. I just don't like the feeling of being flustered and not prepared. I don't know, maybe it's my star sign. I'm a Virgo and I think that's one of the traits of the star sign but I do like to plan what I'm wearing in advance. Everyone gets their outfit inspiration from different places, maybe Instagram or Pinterest. For me, it's usually Pinterest. I do prefer that over Instagram. I just think it's a much easier place to organise everything. I organise my boards around the things that I own and the colours that I wear, and then I go from there. I'm sure you do much the same. So I'll have a board for a navy coat, for example. And even if the coat styles are a bit different from mine, it's more the colours that I look at. If I find a colour combination I like, I can go back to my wardrobe and see if I have anything in that shade that I might be able to put together with my coat. My wardrobe is organised, but there's always something I've forgotten about, which I can try it with. If you've been watching my Outfit Vlogmas series, you'll know that I've been putting together daily outfits. Well, I'm actually creating a digital download of the whole series of all the outfits, which can just be downloaded to the phone. And then when you're planning your outfits, you can look through it, refer back to it and get some ideas. Well, I was actually working on it today. I was looking through one of the boards and I had a, ah, I hadn't thought about that combination moment. 
even though I've created this myself, I know, right, what a wally. It's just that I'd forgotten about it. And seeing that option had just given me some ideas. So when I was thinking about what to wear with my grey coat, I saw this option and I thought I'd give it a go. So the combination was white jeans, grey jumper, grey coat and a burgundy bag. Now this is the same coat as the navy one from before from Ted Baker, but this is actually a smaller size and actually a better size for me. I wasn't quite sure which size to get, so I got two of them in different sizes and then I thought I'd decide which one to keep from there. You never really know with colour combinations if they're going to work, but you've got to try. With grey, I usually go with the colour combos of white and black. It looks good together, but it is quite safe. White and grey also look good together on their own, but adding some burgundy is a really nice addition and it really does complement the grey coat. It just means I get another way to wear my coat and another way to wear my bag. So I will also be using the download myself for inspiration. I can't plan my outfits unless my storage is organised. It's just impossible and it drives me nuts if I can't find something that's part of my outfit. I don't have a lot of space, but what I do have, I do keep organised. I store everything by item. So a drawer for tops, a drawer for bottoms, a drawer for nightwear. Coats are hung up in the wardrobe. I have a shelf for knitwear another shelf for jeans and things like that. It's a system that works for me and it just helps me plan my outfits easily. Planning for me is one of the keys to feeling put together but it is just a small step in a checklist that I run through before I leave the house. In this video with the other steps, let me know if you do the same things.